What is going on everyone? It is Brad or Demon Asylum here. I'm bringing you all a new Destiny video. The Sleeper Simulant Heavy Exotic Fusion Rifle has finally been obtained by many as of today. Uh, most of you guys likely know, especially because I uploaded the video about it, that yesterday we were able to actually start the quest line for the Sleeper Simulant. And if you were someone who completed everything you were able to, including repairing the exotic uh, relic, the Fusion Rifle relic, and handing it into the gunsmith, before the reset today, uh, you will be one of the people like myself that is able to do the second and final part of the Sleeper Simulant quest line, which is getting the quest from Banshee to go and do a different version of the Fallen Saber Strike with the Shank Boss at the end. It's a 280 light difficulty, it is a level 42 strike, and there is matchmaking for it. Now as far as the difficulty for the strike goes, it isn't insanely bad, but there definitely is a couple factors here, such as if you're playing with random people you get match made with, or if you're playing with two other friends that you can actually communicate with through the mic. Another factor is if you decide to do the Warsat legitimately, some of you may know that you have the ability to glitch through the wall near the Warsat with a sparrow, it gets you under the map and you can actually capture the Warsat from under there as well without having to deal with any of the enemies that try to get you off from defending it. Aside from that, the only other hard part of this strike, of course, is the boss fight. Normally with this strike, the boss fight isn't too bad, but since it's a 42 strike and it's 280 light and there's just so much going on, it definitely isn't the easiest thing. And I had quite a few times during the boss fight, again, this is with random people though, that my teammates had died. And I personally think I made a couple clutch plays to keep the team alive and to make it so we only had to try it once in order to kill the boss. Anyway, once you've completed the strike, you basically just go back to the tower, hand it into Banshee the gunsmith, and he will give you the sleeper simulant as your reward. Again, if you're someone who has not completed the first part of this quest line, and I have a video covering how to do everything for that, I posted it yesterday, I'll put a link to it in the description, uh, you will not have the second part that I'm covering in this video available to you yet. If you do not have the first part done, I'm not sure if you can complete it today, and then have the second part available to you right away, or if you have to wait until the reset tomorrow. I'm not sure about all those specifics, but if you have any part of the sleeper simulant quest line available to you, my recommendation would be to just get as much of it done Anything that it offers to you to do, definitely just get it done as soon as you can. Uh, for all we know, yesterday and today may be the only days you have to actually get this quest line done. And starting tomorrow, for all we know, it could be gone for the next week, month, or whatever. Obviously, this second part to get the Sleeper Simulant is pretty self-explanatory and a lot easier than everything we had to do yesterday for the first part. Of course, if you have any questions regarding either of the two parts, go ahead and just post in the comment section below, and I will be sure to get back to you and help in any way I can. Also, like I said before, I will have a link to my video covering everything from part one. If that is still something that you're on or working towards, it will give you all the information you need in order to get part one done, and then you can work over to this second part, which like I said, is simply doing a modified version of the Fallen Saber Strike. Now as far as my thoughts go for this Sleeper Simulant, whether I think it's good or if it's worth the exotic slot or even worth using, those are all things I'm still trying to figure out. I've only used it a bit so far and of course it's only just become available to obtain today. Once I've used it a little bit more at least though and on most of the bosses, I'll likely make a video giving my opinions as well as doing a mini review for it so you guys can know how I personally feel regarding it. That's about it though guys, I do hope you have enjoyed. If so, feel free to drop a like on the video down below and subscribe for many more Destiny videos to come. Thanks for watching everyone, and peace out.